Hello and welcome to this tutorial about Hyena. Hyena is an advanced network packet generator which allows you to reproduce low-level network attack scenarios such as uh, DDoS, DOS or MITM attacks. Um, since release 361 there is a new front-end for Hyena which is called Hyena FE. The front-end is QT based so you should be able to run this on almost any operation system. Let's get started with this tutorial. So let's have a look at the actual UI of Hyena FE. Um, at first you have to select an operation mode. As you can see you have several options here. You can attack from your local machine, you can attack from a remote daemon, um, or you can attack from multiple um, remote daemons by using an address file which um, contains an address list of the Hyena daemons you want to use for your attack. So, but we want to attack from our local machine and I'm using my local Ethernet adapter which is currently not plugged in but it, that's okay for this demo. And next you have to select a network protocol so depending on the IP address um, on the IP version you choose you see that the packet type changes here so you can see what um, what packet type Hyena supports for the desired IP version. So let's choose IP version 4 here. You can see we have ARP request package, ARP rely, PPOE discover package, ICMP and we even have HSRP which is a, a, a routing protocol for Cisco, Cisco uh, routers. Okay, let's see Okay, we might want to want to start with a simple with a simple ping, so we choose ICMP echo here. Um, Hyena has several send parameters. You can choose either a packet limit or you can choose a random packet limit. Let's say we want to send between one and ten packets, or you can choose a fixed a fixed packet limit. So then Hyena will only send one packet. You can choose a send delay. Which you can see, you can see here that the options are the same. You can send, you can use a fixed send delay or a random send delay. Okay, well, we don't want to use a send delay, and a send duration. Okay, uh, the send delay comes in handy if you want to break a flute detection or something. Some routers are smarter than others. They can they can detect flutes. Um, if, if packets are generated within uh, a constant sequence so you can try to break this detection by using a random send delay between whatever you want to do but we don't want to use a send delay here and note that if you don't use a packet count Hyena will send an unlimited amount of packets so then you have to, to stop the application by yourself okay under the command line usage here you can see the actual command line usage of Hyena. Okay, and now we want to look, take a look at the right side, where you can see we have to configure our actual ICMP packet. You can even choose a payload if you want. You can use a random buffer, so you can say uh, we want to attach a random buffer of 10 bytes to our generated ICMP packets or we can use a payload from a file. Um, this option here, ignore MTU limit, um, should be ignored because you, you, you should make sure that your package, that your, your generated packets are not bigger than the actual MTU limit. So let's see here we have source pattern, a destination pattern and we can set the TTL or under IP version 6 it would be the hop limit okay but let's take a look at address patterns here so as you can see here um, the address patterns are separated into two address strips the first one is the hardware address, the second one here is the IP address and the last one is the port. Um, as you can see here I'm using a wildcard for the hardware address and the IP address as well. 
this indicates that we want to use an entirely genera a randomly generated hardware address and an entirely random generated IP address. And we want to attack at a constant port, which is port 80. So you also could spoof your hardware address by using um, a fake um, um, a fake hardware address such as this. Um, you can also use this percentage wildcard to randomize only only octets of the hardware address or the IP address. So you could say instead of um, the second octet here, we want to use um, a random number. So then we would use this syntax here. Um, we can do the same for the IP address as well. Um, okay. Hyena uses uh, address adequate um, randomization, which means the following. If you're using three wildcards here, then the, uh, the randomly generated octet here um, will be at least three digits long. And it won't be a bigger value than 255. So Hyena will make sure that it only generates um, yeah, yeah, sane IP address values so there won't be a value like 300 or something. Um, if you're using let's say only one um, wildcard it will only generate values from 0 up to 9. Okay. Um, let's say we copy this here and put this into our destination pattern as well, which will make no sense for a real attack, but remember this is only a demo. Okay, as you may no have noticed, I've switched to TCP here. Um, I will switch back to ICMP back here. You can see... Um, oops. Um, for ICMP attacks, there is no port uh, value required, so the address pattern only has to contain a hardware address and an IP address. Um, but it uses the same concept here, you can say... Um, and... So... Okay. Um, I will now uh, show you how Hyena will generate the actual packet. Okay, let's fire up Hyena. Let's say we want to generate um, five packets. I will use TCP dump here to lock the actual network traffic on my Ethernet adapter, which is called EN0. Okay, TCP dump is running now, and let's now execute Hyena. Okay, it finished sending five packets with a total amount of 210 bytes. Okay, and as you can see here, it worked perfectly. So we spoofed our hardware address to the value we have provided Hyena with, and our IP address was spoofed as well, and as you can see, the first three octets are constant, just as we wanted them to be, and the last uh, the last octet is a three-digit number, which is entirely random, but it is still within the the range of an IP octet. So all addresses are y usable; they are sane. Okay, let's do one more run, and let's say we want to generate an unlimited amount of packets. So let's execute. Okay, we'll start now, and as you can see, we wrote quite a lot, a huge amount to the network. So, and this only within three, three seconds, and 
you really should be careful using Hyena within your local area network since it, it might collapse. Hyena is very fast and so you have to take a bit of care when using it. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You can download Hyena from SourceForge um, and I hope you leave me a good rating. See you.